Hi friends, this video is a fall marathon. This is how I decorated my home last year. This is going to kick off all of the fall decorating on my channel. I am so excited to start decorating for fall this year. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Hi bestie in this video i'm going to be decorating my coffee bar for the fall season i'm really excited to have you here and i'm going to be sharing a zucchini recipe with you as well and an orchata recipe it came out so delicious i'm really excited for you guys to try that i'm going to be cleaning a little bit and decorating the coffee bar first and then we'll start with the zucchini bread these mirrors came from hobby lobby i used them with my patriotic decor and i loved how they looked in this area so i'm going to be also using them for fall these mirrors were my inspiration to go with the gold look in my kitchen this year i usually do a copper i really love copper for fall as well but these mirrors are just so beautiful and i wanted to leave them up so i'm going to be going with a gold look here in my kitchen i'm really excited for you guys to see how beautiful it came out because i always prefer the copper over the gold for the fall time but you guys will have to let me know what you think This year my kitchen is going to look a little bit different just because I ran out of decor. I tried to use everything in my three new curio cabinets that I'm really excited to decorate this year. But that meant that I had to fill those up with what I already have. And I just don't have enough to decorate my kitchen cabinets. So I'm just going to leave them like this. But I am going to show you guys how I'm going to decorate my curios with my existing fall decor i couldn't really find much that i like this year and i'm trying to only purchase things that i really love because then i end up donating um, a lot of the decor that i purchase because it just doesn't go with like the neutral colors that i'm going with and i really just prefer using the browns beige gold coppers wood colors and just like natural light colors as well i don't know you guys i just really love how my home looks with these colors instead of like the bright oranges i did do bright oranges i want to say maybe like three years back i would do a lot of the bright oranges which i loved but i just prefer how this looks now in my home i just think that my decor style changed a little bit and i just really enjoy it so much more so here on my shelves i'm gonna be using a lot of my fall dishes and i have been trying to purchase really like fancy nice fall dishes so i can have like a really beautiful tablescape and not only the tablescape but like fall dishes so i can like serve my food for thanksgiving i think is really beautiful last year i purchased um a lot of these right here so i wanted to incorporate them as decor but when it comes to thanksgiving i'm gonna be using them to feed um, my family and also to be cooking with them so i just think they serve two purposes like the decor side of it and cooking side of it as well which 
is so beautiful i really love all of these pumpkins that i have right here i just think they go so nicely together if you're interested in these pumpkins they're from world market i purchased them last year and i just love that they have the gold stem i wish that my new pot had a gold stem but it has a silver one but i still love it just as much but these you guys are so beautiful the big one you can actually put it in the oven last year i made a macaroni and cheese in it and i um, actually just set that on the table so like you can serve yourself and also those little ones on the top left i um, served the mashed potatoes and gravy in them so i thought they were just so beautiful so little by little like you can grow a really beautiful collection I would say maybe just one year start with something that you really love the next year buy something more like before you know it you'll just have some beautiful collection that you're just happy about and you're gonna bring it out year from year it's an investment um, for your home and for your thanksgiving dinner for your family i'm sure you guys will have a lot of these pieces for a long time so i encourage you guys to little by little to purchase something that you really love that will go on for many years to come with your thanksgiving dinner I woke up in the middle of the night mm -hmm, na, na, na. And I wondered how you're always right It gets me I couldn't see what you saw in me recognize this pheasant print i found this at the thrift store for three dollars and i found this frame at hobby lobby it was 25 dollars after the 50 percent discount and i just think they both go so well together i love this frame and that i can change out the print for um, season to season or for every holiday if i wanted to i just think the print is so beautiful it's i think it's an eight by ten um frame yeah it's an 8 by 10 so i'm so excited to have this in my collection because now i can change out my prints on here i am going to show you the other print the pheasant one that i also have i'm going to be hanging that other one above my stove so i'll show you guys that one next but you showed me how to believe still gets me It is hard to share my thoughts Ooh, na, na, na. It's like cutting a wound in a bleeding heart It gets me But I know that you need it all Ooh, Just give me some time cause I need to know that you're staying See you're hiding 
I felt like something was missing here in between my two amber vases. So I'm going to be using this little cloche. I purchased these acorns. They're ornaments from Hobby Lobby last year. I got them for 90% off during the Christmas season. So I'm going to be using them for my fall decor. And I think they look really cute in so here. We're going to start here by baking a zucchini bread. I have been loving zucchini bread lately. I have two zucchinis from the garden. I am going to be showing you guys the ingredients and we will make a zucchini bread. I'm really excited to share the recipe with you guys because it is so good, you guys. Oh, with some butter on top and just really warm. It's just so yummy. So let's get started on making the zucchini bread. You're going to need three eggs. I have one and a half cups of sugar. I'm gonna grate the zucchini, but I need two cups of zucchini, one cup of oil, one teaspoon vanilla, three cups of flour, and then here in this bowl, I have one teaspoon salt, one teaspoon baking soda, three teaspoons cinnamon, one fourth teaspoon baking powder, and half of a teaspoon of nutmeg. And I'll leave the um, list of ingredients in the description box for you. Let's start by grating the zucchini. I need two cups. I was gonna take out my KitchenAid, but I feel like that's just too much work. <laughs> I have it in my new little cabinet down here that I showed you guys. I'm really excited. Um, for that little um, space under my utensil drawers. I have my oven preheating at 350 while I mix all of the ingredients. I'm going to start with the oil, the sugar. I have my three eggs. I'm going to throw in my teaspoon of vanilla in here. I'm going to mix this all together. My oven just beeps and it's preheated. I'm just going to keep mixing this. And I'm going to add my flour. mixing all of this i was having a hard time mixing it with my spatula i would recommend using a wooden spoon because the mixture is a little bit different than the cake batter mixture it's not as watery so i at the end changed my spoon because the spatula just bent so much and it was just making it really difficult i'm gonna throw in my seasonings all of that mixed together kind of gets really hard so I'm regretting not having my kitchen made out to mix it okay. um, spray some avocado spray just gonna pour all of my mix in here now that I have all of my zucchini mix in my bundt cake pan I'm gonna be putting it in the oven for about 50 minutes and I'm gonna check it because I've never used the but pan before to make zucchini bread so I want to make sure that it doesn't burn so I'm going to put it in for 50 minutes and check it I 
I checked it in 50 minutes and it wasn't done yet so I left it for five more minutes so total baking time for me was 55 minutes and look how beautiful it looks you guys it looks so yummy I purchased these two cake stands on the Wayfair website I'm really excited about them because I can adjust them to different heights I have one smaller than the other right now but I'm really excited for them they're just like a marble top and the base is kind of like a brass looking one um the base isn't that heavy the top is really heavy but the base is kind of light like you have to screw it on to the marble to complete the piece but i think they're really nice i'm going to be using one for my zucchini bread and the other one for my drink i couldn't decide where to put this marble pumpkin i think it's beautiful i wanted to stand it up but i decided to lay it down and put my owl mug and my straws but i do want to purchase some more pumpkin mugs i really wanted to buy more owl mugs because i just think they're so cute they're from the at home store but i haven't seen them at my store so hopefully they bring them back look how yummy the bread looks I'm gonna be making an horchata to go with my zucchini bread I'm gonna be using three cups of water one can of evaporated milk one can of condensed milk and one teaspoon of vanilla and I have three cups of milk and last night I left my rice soaking so it could be ready for today, but you can let it soak for four hours or overnight, whatever you guys prefer. But um, I have one and a half cups of long grain rice, four cups of water, and one cinnamon stick in here that I left soaking. So I'm gonna blend this together in my little blender because this one's really powerful compared to my bigger one. So I'm gonna be using this one to blend it all up and then I'm gonna mix it into my pumpkin. I'm so excited to be using my pumpkin drink dispenser for my horchata i actually saw one similar without the spout at home goods i believe it was 30 dollars. i did purchase mine one day while i was thrifting at savers but i have also seen a similar one at michael's I'm going to be using a strainer to separate the rice from the water so like that I don't have too much rice on the bottom because you do have to keep mixing it um, before you serve it so I don't want too much of that rice going down um, a little bit does still um, go through the strainer so just keep that in mind you guys that you will have to mix it I'm using a spoon to mix it so the liquid can go down a little bit faster because the rice does clog up the strainer. I'm just going to put the rice back in here just so I can put the rest of the water so I can take out all of the flavor from it. I'm going to add my three cups of milk, my can of condensed milk, my can of evaporated milk, and one teaspoon of vanilla. together now I'm just gonna be adding my ice
try it. And I think it needs a little bit of sugar. The sugar is to your tasting. You don't have to add sugar because it already has the condensed milk. But we're just adding a little bit.
here's my beautiful frame i love that it's gold and it's a, such a big frame somebody painted it it does have a signature on the bottom on the corner i think this is so beautiful i love how the trees are so like yellow like it's just fall time this is kind of like utah weather here <laughs> we can have snow in the mountains and it's like fall time down here in the city i just think it's beautiful here's the owl planter from hobby lobby it was 79.99 so i got it for 19.99 on sale and i am going to be painting it black you guys because i do want to use the rub and buff on it i like the gray color but it just doesn't go with anything with my fall decor so i'm going to go ahead and paint it i struggled so much with decorating my table this year my bestie gave me so many ideas and i was actually going to change up all of the decor take the frame down but then i found the owl and i don't know he changed everything for me i'm so glad that i found him and here's the rub and buff that i'm going to be using i'm just going to be adding it to some parts on the owl i'm not going to use the rub and buff on the entire owl just because i want to be able to see the two-tone the black and the rub and buff Now that I finished the owl, I'm going to move on to decorate this little wall right here next to my pantry. And you guys, I am so happy I finally found this pumpkin sign that I bought, I don't even know how many years ago at Michael's. I thought I had lost it or broke it because for the last two or three years, I haven't been able to find it. But I found it way back in my shed where I have a lot of my frames and i couldn't believe i found it i thought i had lost it or gotten rid of it but i'm so glad to put it up here because i love this sign so much i think it's so beautiful i'm also going to be adding these pumpkins here just to add a little bit more decor to this wall i really like how the decor looks right here i love the happy pumpkin spice season sign and these pumpkins oh my gosh you guys they're my favorite i think they look so beautiful. i'm gonna move on to clean my table next so we can decorate it but you guys i'm not gonna be adding any silverware or any like cloth napkins honestly you guys i don't want to buy cloth napkins because we don't ever use them I just buy them for the video and I just didn't want to purchase any. And besides, I've gone to Home Goods so many times this year, you guys, and I haven't really had any luck finding anything that I like. I struggled so much with decorating my table this year that I'm just really happy with how it came out. I hope you guys like it too. I think it's more simple than other years, but that's because I couldn't figure out what to do with my table. But I hope you guys like it. I think it came out beautiful as well, just like other years. Open up the window I'm breathing in the last of September I can feel the wind blow And the late summer sky is like a giant
Since I was a little child Every year for as long as I remember All the leaves were running wild Going all the way until November Turn the world around us into gold When the For my plates, I'm going to be using these. I've had them for many years. They're from Pioneer Woman. And I'm going to be using my um, turkey plates from Home Goods. I'm going to be using my Buffalo Check plates that I purchased at Hobby Lobby. They didn't bring these back this year. I only have a collection of four for each, the salad and dinner plates. So that's why I'm going to be using a different plate at the end of the table just so it can all come together and i think it came out really nice and again you guys i'm just using things that i already have so i'm just gonna be doing the best <laughs> with what i have because again i've gone to home goods and i haven't found anything for fall this year so i'm thinking that maybe they're gonna bring things out maybe in the next couple of weeks because we are gonna be in september pretty soon here so i'm kind of crossing my fingers if i find anything i will purchase them for um my fall home tour but if not i'm just gonna keep it like this i think it came out really nice as well but i do want to buy the big um, dinner plates that match the turkey plate so i'm gonna cross my fingers <laughs> wish me luck you guys i've seen them previous years and i never picked them up and now that i want them they're not gonna come out i'm sure so we'll see if i find them or not but I still think it came out really nice. I'm gonna show you guys my table. I think it came out beautiful.
gonna start to decorate my two curio cabinets. They were in high school when they met And things got kinda awkward With sparks in the air He would stare at her in class And she would try to act cool But it was obvious like ooh They would be together One day she said, write me a love song Cause I know you'll make it beautiful And maybe I'll call you my sweetheart And promise nobody can steal me away Then I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know He looked at her and then he smiled Picked up a pen and paper started writing probably something about her eyes and how they're always shining or something cliche like ooh baby I only want you it's true and then he said I wrote you a love song and I tried to make it Beautiful. It's a song about your sweet, sweetheart And how nobody can steal me away Yeah, I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know As he sang, she started to dance Grabbed his arm and took his hand He held her close under the moon they kept on dancing mm -mm -mm. And now they're singing their love song And they sing it kind of beautiful Calling each other sweetheart I promise nobody can get in their way Or steal the show They're in love now I wanted you to know
hope you guys like how I decorated my curio cabinets. I think they came out really beautiful. I'm going to end the video here. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye besties.